hello welcome to twitter think and in today's video i'll be taking you through how to find the quadratic equation when the roots are given it's very simple we just need to multiply two roots given to us and then we are off to go so um you would be given a quadratic equation and you will be asked to find its root at the same time you can also be given the roots and you'll be asked to find the equation so in this video i am giving the roots and then we are going to find the equation so let's see for this equation the roots are complex one is positive and one is what's negative so it is imaginary let's assume that um, the equation is in terms of the variable x you can choose the variable of your choice it depends on what you want so I am going to settle for x so for our solution we say that when you see something like this you say that let's x be equal to the first root and let x be equal to the what the second root from here we now equate everything to zero and to do that i'll cross this one to this side and equate it to zero cross this one to this side and equate it to zero so we can form the equation by saying that x now when i cross this to the left side to be minus i Will be equal to zero let me put this in brackets then i'll cross the second one which will give me x when i cross it to this side plus i will be equal to zero so now your final step is to pick the two brackets multiply the result and equate it to zero so we have x minus i then x plus i equal to zero so from here we just expand the bracket x times x will give us x squared then x times i will give us plus x i and this time this will give us minus x i and this time this will give us minus i square equal to zero so but i square equal to neg one we can substitute that here if this is your first time visiting this channel if you don't understand this under complex numbers you visit my channel i've done an introduction to complex numbers it's under the playlist engineering mass 2 locate engineering mass 2 complex numbers introduction to complex numbers you see it there the imaginary unit i is equal to root of negative one and so when you square both sides i square will give you what negative one so when i substitute this here i am getting x squared plus x i minus x i plus one and give me zero so now when this is here it will multiply to give you one we know this and this can cancel so we are left with what x squared plus one is equal to zero so the equation is x squared plus one equal to zero so this is the equation when you solve this equation it will generate the root um, i and negative part i now let's take the final example so in the example two let's use the same variable x so let x be equal to two plus i and then the same x be equal to 2 minus i don't use different variables you have to use the same variable so we bring everything here we carry this to the left hand side and equate it to zero so we have x minus 2 and when we carry this one to it to give it minus i equal to zero so let's put this in one bracket and then we have x minus 2 we carry this and we carry this giving us plus i equal to zero so we pick both brackets multiply it and equate it to zero so we have x minus 2 minus i multiply by x minus 2 plus i equal to zero so now we can expand this x by x will give us x squared the next time this giving us minus 2x this time this um, plus xi this time this giving us minus 2x and this time this is giving us plus 4 this time this minus 2i and this time this minus xi this time this um, we have 
plus 2i and minus i squared. So finally, i times i will give us minus i squared. Then uh, let me rewrite this. We can now cancel. Looking at this, this and this can cancel out. And this and this can also cancel out. So we are left with x squared minus 2x minus another 2x plus 4 minus i squared. But we know that i squared is negative 1. So i squared equals neg 1. So we substitute it there. So we have x squared. We can add this and this giving us minus 4x plus 4 minus negative 1. So this and this will add giving us 0. The whole equation is equal to 0. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation that we generated from the root that was given. So the root were this 2 plus i2 minus i. So this is how you generate the root. So you can use any variable of your choice. I prefer using x not a b and c it depends on what you want to use so i'll give you one example you solve it yourself and you generate the quadratic equation so solve this one using the same uh, procedure i use and generate the root of the equation if you are able to do that that means you are good to go i'll give you the possible answers to cross check when you are done i hope by now you are done with your calculation when you are done with the calculation you have your results to be um, x square minus 2x plus 10 equal to 0 so this is what you are supposed to generate so if you were able to get this then congratulations clap for yourself you have done well <laughs> so i'll see you in the next video in my next video i'll be talking about um, generating the complex factor when the quadratic equation has already been given so stay tuned for this you can go through the channel to search for these videos and my name is Daniel and I hope to see you here the next time.